What's going on guys and girls, old school NYC Gamer here with a really, really cool thing I found on the internet I want to show you guys. And the reason why is, you're wondering why if we'll start is why do I have this when, you know, I usually show video games and whatnot. Well, technically this could be a game. Now, how do you ask? Let's find out. Basically guys, uh, yesterday I just checked out something called AudioTap. It's a file, basically, um, it's a tap file, which is basically all sound, data sound, and it goes from your computer to a tape recorder, and it ends up being on this, where you can play the game through a uh, Commodore 64 or VIC-20 data set, or even something with a tap file, even for Atari, whatever, basically, system you could use for this. As long as it's a tap file for that specific game and system, you could do it. So basically, the, what we're going to do is we're going to convert a tap file on this. So basically, I'm going to find a uh, file here, which I uh, downloaded a bunch. Uh, I'll just get to a real easy one to see if this works. And in honor of uh, Intellivision Dude, because I know he's a classic for uh, these types of games, uh, I'm going to look for it. I think I just passed it. All right, so I'm looking at pole position. But before we open it, to start it basically I have to take this right here into that so basically what I'm going to do is oh, sorry guys uh, so make sure to take the tape put it in to the uh, tape player right here if I can get it in there and uh, make sure before we even go that this has to be on pause and this okay so you see right there I'm sorry guys with the light uh, you see no level yet. So it's before we start this, I got to make sure that we take the pause button off. And then we're going to hit open. Okay, so now as this thing is going, I see it's going right there. You see the bars all lit up. So basically that is the sound going through being transferred into the, uh, into the tape recorder. As you see, it's going right there. And every so often, it's going to cut off, possibly cut off here and there. See, oh, there it goes. Like I said, that's the sound going. So uh, we're going to see how long this takes, hopefully not too long. And uh, actually, you know what? We'll just get back when the uh, process is done. We'll see if this, uh, this game works. All right, welcome back, guys. Yeah, it did take a little while for this to go, so now it's about ready to be done. Almost done. Yep, there it is. As I can tell now, there are no bars on the uh, system right there. There's maybe a couple here and there, but basically it's done. So now I'm just going to stop it, take the tape out. Now we're going to bring it over to the uh, Commodore 64 right here as I got. And I showed you guys in uh, one of my last unboxings. I'm going to turn this uh, TV on here. Give it a second to warm up. And basically now I'm going to turn on the Commodore. Alright, see it's all ready. So now I'm just going to type in load. Enter. Now it's going to say press play on tape. So now i uh, got the tape right here. But make sure uh, before you even start it up, you got to rewind it. Oh, sorry, I kind of uh, goofed up there for a second. It's got to rewind first. Sorry guys, I messed up there. So we're going to try it again. Alright, I'm going to turn it on. You see it right there, we're just going to type in load. And it says there, press play on tape. Now I'm going to press play. And now of course, you see there is just a blue screen. Now you're thinking that the uh, game's not working. It's basically just loading up. So if you give it a second, all the information is going to pop up on the screen. And I know for the dead silence, sorry about that, it is reading now, you can see there. Searching, found pole position. So it detected the game, now we're just going to see if it works fully. See, every time it goes and stops, it's going to uh, basically recognize the program and make sure that it goes. Now see it stopped, because basically now it's ready. So now it's going to type in run. And there we go. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Oh, so I guess, uh, oh, sorry guys, let me just sort of for a minute. Yeah, so basically, uh, so far it's working, but just because the intro's working doesn't mean the whole game will work, because, uh, I've heard encounters of, uh, the game's loading but not playing correctly, so, uh, as you can tell as it's still going, the game is, uh, it's still loading all the information, so this might take a little while, so before we get into it, I will get back to you on this. Alright guys, <clears throat> as you can see, the game actually did load. I'm sorry it took a little longer than it did, so I had to cut out some time. But as you can see from this data set, this actual tape right here, this thing right here, you could actually play pole position. So I'm just going to show you a little quick gameplay of that. Just to let you know that it is working. Yep, guys, it, it actually is working. I am playing pole position, and even though I just crashed right there, it does show you that I am doing it. Uh, the gameplay is a little weird because I'm using a uh, w Wico joystick. So, um, yeah, basically, if you guys are more interested and want to know more how to uh, do this, uh, just look it up on Google or just hit me up or even through uh, other YouTubers. I know there's a couple here that show you how to do it. I mean, it's so simple. Um, all you need is a uh, <clears throat> audio jack cord, you know, mail to mail, a cassette recorder, and a blank tape, and look what you get. You get a freaking uh, awesome game. Uh, graphics aren't too bad. Uh, for the Commodore 64, mind you, this is way better than the Atari. Uh, definitely way better than the Atari 2600 version, guys. So, uh, yeah. Uh, definitely rate, subscribe. Um, if you got any other questions or whatever, uh, just give me uh, give me a shout. Hope you guys have a great day. Cheers.